Okay. However, yesterday we had the card upright. Today it has appeared in our reality reversed. So this is letting me know. I'll put it upright so that you can see it. Because it's reversed today, it's letting me know that there have been There has been messages coming from Creator God, from the God Spirit, from your higher self, the source of all things that is, that you have not been paying attention to. And this is including people around you. So it's a, I don't know if you've ever heard of the spirit of discernment. The spirit of discernment is when your spirit knows more than what your eyes see. Your heart knows more than just what your skin feels, okay? And Lynx is coming in reverse because this is do, dealing with more than just you. This has to do with other people as well that the secrets have been trying to be revealed to you about other people in your life. So there are some individuals around you that you have not been using your spirit of discernment about that you really need to pay attention to and have a little bit of caution regarding their intentions, okay? So really pay attention to the people that you've been hanging around and really pay attention to the people that you've been entrusting with valuable information about yourself and about other things that are going on with you about your ideas, your inventions, really be cautious about who you're telling this information to. Just yesterday, we were talking about secrets. And if you watched my daily lifestyle insight video, I was talking about how secrets are meant to be told, but in the right timing and to the right people. Not everyone needs to know your secrets. What is the reason that we're talking about the things that we're talking about? Is it beneficial to the person you're talking to? And is it beneficial for you, the reason why you're indulging this secret? Our secrets are made for specific times and places and people. So really be cautious about the company that you're keeping and the people that are in your company making sure that we are always trustworthy ourselves where our because life is a mirror so whatever our intentions are for other people definitely we're going to reflect that because that's a seed that's being sown so the seed that we sow is the harvest that we grow always 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 so if we're attracting dishonest people then this really means that we need to check our own intentions this is the truth is the truth i'm not going to sit here and tell you that if someone's dishonest around you that it's all because life is against you and oh the devil is out to get you well why is the devil out to get you and is the devil able to get you if the, if the devil is able to get you, then that means that there's an open spot that's, there's an open door for the devil. That means the devil's been invited in. It's like a vampire. I know you've watched vampire movies. If you have not, that's okay. I'll let you know. So a vampire, when it comes to someone's house to bite him on the neck, the vampire has to be invited in. It has to be invited in. It can't just waltz up into somebody's house. It has to be invited in. And that's the same thing with negative energy. That's the same thing with the devil. And that's the same thing with negative people. In order for them to actually have a negative effect on your life, it has to be invited in through some way or another. So let's just make sure that we're not inviting the wrong company so that we can use the spirit of discernment regarding other people's secrets and their intentions for us, for our own, our own lives. So not everyone that says they mean good for you means good for you. They, uh, there are some people out there that have secret intentions for your life, secret intentions for your goals, secret intentions to 
try and hinder the things that's going on in your life. And we're not going to judge them. We're just going to see things for the way they are and send positive energy towards them to help them deal with whatever situation that they're dealing with, that they have this dishonesty building within them. So, God, I just thank you for this day. I thank you for all the people around us. I think I even thank you for the people that have bad intentions because that same power that they're using to try and send ill will against any one of us, that's the same power that can be used for them to use it for good. So we thank you, God. We thank you, angels. We thank you, all positive light to surround these people now and help them learn that there's no need for us to be against one another, that there's enough room for us to love each other and ourselves, and that the same energy that we use for bad, we can use it for good and have a much more positive effect, a much more larger effect, and live lives that are greater and going more towards the intention of what we all truly want. So we thank you that this is already done. We thank you for keeping our hearts pure so that we don't have to worry about any ill will affecting us. And we just thank you for love, light, positive, positivity, and the animals. Thank you, Lynx, for letting us know what's going on for their energy. So have a positively great day. Use your spirit of discernment, yeah, so that we can really understand the intentions of the people around us. Thank you, and I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow for a daily card reading.